we are still dealing with a nervous system that is desperately searching for a sense of safety and security. And it's always out of reach. So these are, this then becomes like this lifelong quest to, well, if I get that, if I get to that place in life, if I have this, if I do this, then I will be happy. When we talk about attachment, this is, this is something that we understand, we can understand it through the lens of the nervous system. And given what we know about our nervous system now, wow, we have a totally different lens now that we can use rather than just making boxes and saying you have to fit into this box or this box or this box. And when we talk about the experiences that we go through, there's no boxes. Like there's nothing that is rigid about this. When I think of how they even came up with these categories of the attachment styles, it it really helps inform me on what was the original experience perhaps, right? That that led to this developing and and becoming our nervous system. And one thing has been very clear in um, all of the research that's been done on attachment is that there is the strongest influence, the strongest influence is the mother's nervous system. And so everything starting from in utero, mom's nervous system is already starting to get transferred over and what happens is that babies are so, I want to say malleable, <laughs> right? Their primary function in the first several years of life is just to learn about this environment that they've been brought into. And so they're taking in everything. They're taking in everything. And that's informing their nervous system about how it needs to adapt in order to survive. And so attachment, one's attachment style is only an adaptation to their early environment that helped them survive. And all of the information from its environment helped inform it what it needed to adapt to in order to survive. So in utero, ah, I feel mom's heartbeat and it's going fast. It's going fast. Oh, this must be a scary world. There must be a lot of danger out there because if mom is always this stressed out, oof, I better get ready, <laughs> right? And so the nervous system already starts to adapt to an environment that it sees as stressful. So let's, let's take a few examples. Stay at home mom who is, who is busy, right? Who's busy? One of the most important things about attachment is this ability for them to be regulated. I think you guys have been around me long enough. That word should make some more sense to you. This ability to shift our own nervous system into more of a parasympathetic state. It's called regulation and keeping, keeping ourselves within that window of tolerance. That's regulation. A baby has absolutely no capacity to do that for themselves. Absolutely no capacity to do that for themselves. And so one of the major adaptations that can happen is that if they do not get enough of that regulation from their environment, from their parents, from mom, dads can play a huge role in this though as well then a baby is left with its nervous system feeling out of control. And I don't know about you, right? But when our nervous system feels out of control, out of control, it can only sustain that for so long. And then what does it do? Goes into the freeze, <laughs> right? 
feeling out of control, you either need to get in control or you need to not care that you're not in control. And so that feeling of, I, oof, like my system is, is out of control, then that is what will start this pattern of going into the freeze response. And so people can come out of childhood with very strong pull towards the freeze response and yet there was never any abuse there was never any any trauma how did i come away with my childhood with an insecure attachment why do i have a strong pull towards the freeze response there's always family issues but there was never any big stuff like other people so why me well that right there that's enough of a reason right there if the amount of connection regulation that you experienced was not enough for your system it would have been overwhelming as a baby and you would have gone into that freeze response in order to shut shut that down get a break get a break from that panic feeling of i'm out of control and so that's a big, that would be a big reason for people going into a avoidant insecure type of style. But then you've got another scenario where um, there there is a lot of contact. There's a lot of maybe physical proximity, right? Like mom is always around or someone is always around and they're just not fully tuned into baby. And so there's this element of, I feel like it's just right there, right? Like just right there, mom is just right there. And if I could just get her attention, she would give me the, the regulation that I need. And so they continue to do things that will get more attention and they don't necessarily go into the freeze as much because they feel like, oh, it's just right there. It's, just, it's, it's right there. She's, she's right there. She's just on the phone. Let me bang my spoon harder on the counter. Let me throw my plate on the floor now. <laughs> How can I get more attention? Because it's just right there. Whereas if it's not there at all, that's where it tends to be more of the avoidant and the checking out. And by not there at all, that's not necessarily physically right there at all it's emotionally right so this is where a mom with a strong pull towards the freeze response baby's trying to make that connection and there's just nothing there because mom is in a freeze response so this is where mom can actually be holding the baby can actually be doing all of the right things but mom is emotionally not there in that relationship. And those are all the things that come across non-verbally, subconsciously, that baby is picking up all of that. So again, there's nothing bad about this. This is just how babies are designed to take everything from their environment to inform them on how they should adapt in order to best survive life. And so there are certain, there, there's certainly like a spectrum, right? And some people are further down the spectrum of insecure attachment. And some people are not as far down that spectrum, but this is a place for us to start. And we can see this in terms of parts of us that adapted to our environment right parts of us that adapted that's what all of our parts are all of our parts are there as a result of an experience that we have had that we had to adapt to other than our true self our true self is above all of that <laughs>